Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC without using Entity Framework how to get records between that selected date range, the starting date to end date. And here we got the final output in MVC how to get records between the selected date range, starting date and ending date without using Entity Framework. Let's enter the date. The starting date 2017 09 and 20. Let's add this one. The month is 09, date is 20 2017. The starting date and the ending date at 2018 05 30. Zero five the month, the date is thirty three zero, and the year is two thousand eighteen. Let's search. See here we got the records between the selected date range from this EMP table. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. From Web Templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework 4.6.1 I'm using. The application name is MVC Get Records Date Range. Click OK. And from the Templates, I'm selecting MVC. Click OK. And here the MVC application is created successfully. Let me close this window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding a class in this models folder. Right click the models, add class. The class name I'm giving, EMP class, add. Now in this EMP class, I'm adding a public properties. But before adding the properties into this class, First visit our SQL Server database, we'll check the table and the column names. The table name is the EMP table which contains 5 columns, EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department and joining date. Now my aim is, I want to search or filter records based on the date, selected date range, the starting date to ending date. So let's switch back to the coding part. Now in this EMP class, first I'm adding property public string. The property name is the EMP name. Copy that one. This here. Get set public string. The second property is a designation. Get set public public string third one is a department get set and the last one public date time and the last property is the type date time type is a joining date the joining date type in this table also the date time only. Get set. After adding the properties in this AMP class, open Solution Explorer. I'm creating a controller in this controllers folder. I click the controllers, add controller. The controller I'm selecting empty, add. The controller name is employee add and here we got the employee controller also now i'm adding the namespaces of sql server using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client using system dot configuration the last namespace i'm adding the model namespace and we see get 
records date range is a project name dot models folder. After adding the namespaces, now in the server explorer, I am adding my database connection. Add connection, the server name is. After adding the server name, I am selecting the database name. Sample DB. Test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And here sample db dot db is added under data connection. Now I need the data source of the sample db. Right click that one. Go to properties. In the properties, the connection is a connect. In the properties, the connection string data source. Copy that one. Open solution explorer. In the project, the bottom web dot config file. Open that one. In this web dot config file, there is a connection strings. Add a new connection. Add name is equals to my connection. Connection string. I'm adding the data source which I have copied. Provide a name. System dot data dot SQL client. After adding the SQL server connection string in this web dot config file, switch to the controller. Now in this action result index method, I'm adding two parameters. Both are date time start comma date time end but here one important thing is when we are adding the date time we need to add the question mark otherwise you'll get an error let's write the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection copy that one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main con after that string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is a select start from the table name is dbo.emp table copy that one this here where joining date the column name copy that one this here between single quotes double quotes plus plus double quotes single quotes and single quotes double quotes plus plus double quotes single quotes double quotes now between this plus plus I am adding start this object and end SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters the first one is a command text SQL query comma the second parameter is a connection object which is a SQL con let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method as well as I'm closing the connection string with the close method now between this open and close SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter. I'm adding SQL command object. Data set VS is equals to new data set SDA dot fill method. I'm filling the data with data set object. Let's add the list class here. Uh, inside this list class, I'm adding the EMP class name EMP class LC is object new EMP list EMP class I'm adding the data row with the for each loop for each data row dr in ds dot tables zero dot rows property After that, lc.add method, 
new I'm adding EMP class now I'm adding the properties from this EMP class the first one is a uh, EMP name is equals to dr data row object between double quotes the column name is the employee name from the table and capital comma notice we got a small error here cannot implicitly convert type object to string so convert dot to string the second object designation is equals to convert dot to string dr the data column is a designation copy that one paste here comma department convert dot to string dr between double quotes the column name is department copy that one test here comma the last one is a joining date convert dot to date time dr between double quotes the column name is joining date copy that one and paste here let's close the semicolon after that for the close method i'm adding model state clear dot clear method in the return view in the return view i'm adding the list emp class object lc that's it the coding part is finished to fetch the records between this selected date range. Now we need the index view page. Highlight the index, right click that one, add view. The view name is index only in the template. I'm selecting the list. The model class is EMP class, which is this one, add. And here we got the index view page also. Now in this index view page, I'm adding center tab. I want to display the center, the records. After that, let's add the header tag H1 MVC. How to get records between the selected date range start and end without using entity framework horizontal line. I am deleting this h2 header index. I am deleting the action result create as well as from the bottom I am deleting the edit details and delete also the action links. Now between this p tag at using html dot begin form method between double quotes, the first parameter I'm adding the index page, index view page, or view page is index only, so I have added index, comma, and the second parameter is a string controller name. Our controller name is the employee, copy that one between double quotes, comma, form method dot get. 
After that, between these curly brackets, I'm adding the HTML elements. Input type date name is equals to the name here the variable the object start input type is a date name is equals to in the name I am adding the object end after that the last one I am adding the button control input type is equals to submit name is equals to submit and the value of the button I am adding such that's it we have done the complete coding part but to run this application we need to change the controller name in the route.config file open solution explorer app underscore start folder expand that one routeconfig.cs open that one notice the controller is the home which is a default one and deleting that one our controller name is a employee controller copy that one paste here and the action page is the index only which is this one that's it let's check the results google chrome and here we got the final output in mvc how to get records between the selected date range starting date and ending date without using a native framework let's enter the date the starting date 2017 09 and 20 let's add this one the month is 09 date is 20 2017 the starting date and the ending date at 2018 05 Zero five the month, the date is thirty three zero, and the year is two thousand eighteen. Let's search. See here we got the records between the selected date range from this EMP table. That's it.